Hello, Mun Reindeer. Got the mud clothes on here again uh, today. We're going to be working on the uh, drywall up in our second bedroom here. Uh, I don't know how many uh, parts we have in this uh, series here now, but uh, for those of you who watched the entire series here so far, uh, we started with lath and plaster on these walls, no insulation, uh, old electrical in the walls. Uh, we now have uh, all new electrical in the walls. Of course, it's not hooked up yet. You know, we need to finish the drywall and stuff like that first, probably the paint too. Uh, we got all new insulation in the walls, and I don't know if you can tell, but like back when we started this video, Evan, I was like in a coat and a, you know, or something like that, right? Coat jacket of some sorts, and that, I'm, I'm just in my regular shirt here, my old shirt here, because we're working on drywall, right, Evan? And it, it's like 20 degrees outside, Evan, so it's not like it's any warmer outside here at the moment. It is uh, flying, flipping cold out there at the moment. Um, yeah, just stand in there. Tell me, folks, insulation. Wow, what a difference, right, Evan? What a difference. And we're not even, like, that well insulated yet, if you ask me. We still got a bunch of work to do over on uh, the wall I'm facing here at the moment. Uh, I don't want to, again, as I mentioned in previous videos, I, mean, I don't want to continue on with that until I know what's going to happen over there because I don't want to, like, redo work, right? So, anyway, uh, I want to get to the sanding here in today's video. Uh, first things first, though, we're probably going to slap a little bit of mud on some of these walls here. Uh, in particular, the corner, well, actually, let me uh, face the corner here. Oh, uh, in particular, this corner over here, and this corner has been uh, quite uh, troublesome, I would say, here so far. It just does not want to dry. In fact, you can tell it is still wet yet uh, from last night, and it's, well, basically, it's been wet the whole week so far, so, or the whole past week, I should say, so far. So yeah, we're going to see if we can uh, slap some mud on it. It's not 100% dry, but I think it's dry enough we can put at least a little bit more mud on it. Again, we won't be able to sand that one, but I think everything else... I think every, Well, okay, this corner over here I probably shouldn't sand either. I don't know if you can see that one, but wet there yet as well. So if it's wet, you don't want to sand it. <laughs> bad, bad things, right? Anyway, let's, uh, let's get set up, everyone. Get started. I guess I better start uh, sanding then because I am not a drywaller. Now that being said, I, mean, I will have to say, uh, buying yourself an electric uh, drywall sander, oh my goodness, heaven, that uh, makes the uh, job of doing drywall so, so much easier. So uh, highly, highly recommend if you plan on doing any uh, drywall yourself, Evan, definitely pick up yourself a uh, electric drywall sander. Uh, so much nice, Evan. Um, yeah, I've got the hand sanders, well, Evan, but let's face it, if you're not particularly good at uh, doing drywall and putting you know the mud on the walls I mean you might you know maybe you're not getting it smooth or it's too much or whatever it might be I mean you're gonna have to do an awful lot of sand and right and, and hopefully in this case I mean hopefully I don't have to do an awful lot I, I think I've done you know an okay job here at this I guess we'll find out once we start sanding that one but again even if you did a halfway decent job and this just makes the job go so much quicker plus you got the vacuum attachment on this as well man, so it should keep dust to a minimum with that being said, this is still more dusty. I do have the uh, like the hand model as well with the vacuum attachment. That one like gets like 90, probably 99% of the dust. This is probably more like 80% of the dust or something like that. Uh, you know, again, it depends how probably good of a job you did on the mud as well. You know, if you did a pretty good job, it's pretty smooth to begin with. You're not going to be taking off much. But uh, if you are taking off some, which I imagine we probably will in a few places, you have one, then yes, you'll probably make some dust with this. But uh Electric sanding, way, way easier. So anyway, with that being said, let's get started here. Oh, now one thing I want to mention to Evan, if you're uh, obviously electric sander here with a vacuum attachment on it, or if you have a sander with a vacuum attachment, uh, make sure you're using a bag, a dust bag with your vacuum. Don't just rely on the vacuum by itself with a filter oven. 
you will plug that filter up very quickly and won't be good for your vacuum. Your vacuum working really hard trying to suck through that dirty filter. So again, make sure you use a, they make a custom attachment as well. Either, you know, one of these special drywall attachments for the vacuum or actually use a uh, dust bag in your vacuum. So just, uh, yeah, make sure you do that. Okay, with a couple of hours of sand and later, hopefully you can see the difference on the camera here. I'm not sure how well it picks it up, but uh, hopefully you can see it is a lot smoother on the walls here. Uh, you shouldn't be able to see or feel the edges anymore. Now there was a couple spots I couldn't sand yet. It's a little too wet down there. And then of course, I don't know what's up with that corner, but that, that corner just does not want to dry. So obviously didn't sand that as well. I uh, got the ceiling sand, you got the walls that are all done sanded up so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wash the walls real quick here, just a real lightly oven, just to get, uh, you know, if you run your hand across it. Actually, that wasn't that bad there, but here it's probably, you can feel it there, everyone. I just wanna get some of that off there, and then we're gonna go through, and uh, we got a few spots that need more mud yet, uh, like up along here, and hopefully you can see that corner there. Yeah, not the greatest oven. It's good in most spots, but really, uh, really struggle with some of these corners up here. Uh, just getting them, uh, this corner turned out really nice oven, but yeah, if you go, like right there, but I don't know why, I just uh, really struggled with that. So now that we got it smoothed out, hopefully maybe we get some mud in there. I might mix it up a little bit wetter than normal and just see once if we can uh, get that to smooth out really nicely. Like I said, we just gotta, like there, just go around the room and fix little spots here and there. Uh, just looking, uh, actually, you know, might throw a little mud in that. I don't know if it's really worth it or not, but uh, just a little pinhole there. Yep, up along there, everyone needs a little bit. This uh, corner here needs a little bit of help. And yeah, this this whole corner along here kind of needs some help as well. Just, uh, yeah, like I said, really struggle with some of these corners of it. And this one just does not want to dry. Same, uh, what you see here, I mean, is the same thing I struggled with kind of around the rest of the, uh, mainly the top of it. I don't know why, but uh, these corners here and that corner there turned out pretty good. But along the top, it just did not want to smooth out real well for some reason, so. Oh well, anyway, like I said, I'm gonna wash it down real quick. I got a little bucket here with some water with just a little bit of soap in it. Uh, the soap helps like pick up the uh, the dust that's on the walls. By the way, if you, if you just do plain water, then you're just kinda like mushing it around the place, right? Uh, but with the soap in it, it'll actually uh, pick it up and clean it. And I wanna do that before I put any more mud on it. Otherwise, you're just kinda like smearing that uh, dust around when you're trying to mud up and it, uh, yeah, it just does not work very well. Also, real quick, again, got to say one, powered sander. Oh, is that a nice thing? I mean, it works very well. Uh, I do have the uh, triangle head for it as well. Uh, this is the, uh, what, WEN? Yeah, WEN model sander. Uh, if you happen to look this particular sander up, I think it comes in a couple different variations. Comes with, obviously, the round head. I forget, is that 8 or 10 inch? I think that's 8 inch, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's 10. Whatever, whatever size that is, that one uh, has that. And then also there is a triangle head that is supposed to be for like uh, getting the corners and stuff. Uh, I've tried it before, it doesn't seem to work very well in my opinion. So I just stick with a round head. And then for the corners, I mean, I found these, what are these Norton Pro Sand ones here. 
These work really well. They are what? Oh, 60 grit. That's probably why they work so well. Uh, they do not last long, though. And like, uh, you know, a couple corners and the block is pretty much all worn out here at this point. So just something to keep in mind with that. But uh, they do work very well. Uh, they sand uh, they sand the drywall down very quickly, you know, like a couple swipes of one. And that's what I use in the corners, by the way. So sand that, and then the corner, I'm gonna just kind of go in there and touch it up with that, and uh, it usually turns out really nice. Nice, uh, sharp corner. I mean, you got that uh, sharp corner here on the sanding block, right? And uh, just, yeah, it makes those corners really pop, in my opinion. Okay, gonna shut up and uh, get back to work here. Okay, I just finished uh, slapping another uh, coat of mud on everything that uh, needed it. And, and when I say coat, I really should just say we just went around and spotted everything here that I thought needed it. Uh, I did most of the screw holes here. Most of those seemed like they needed an extra coat, so I got all those uh, done. And then, uh, like I said, just went around the corners and sides and just wherever, you know, like right there, that one. You can see where it's still wet. Most of this actually is dried already because, uh, again, we're putting such a thin coat on. Uh, but you can see where we got it just a little bit heavier. It is still wet yet. Um, I put some on in here somewhere. Actually, I think it was right there. Again, dry already, Owen. So, to be honest, we could probably actually sand some of this already. We'll wait till tomorrow to probably do that, though, Owen. Uh, yep, up along there. Same thing here. Down there, just again, you, you can see some of the screw holes, too, are obviously a little bit deeper. So, need a little bit more mud right there. And then also, I finished up putting another coat of mud on this side of that corner. Uh, again, that side's not dry yet, uh, but oh well. And I, again, I don't know, that, that side just does not want to drive it. I'm not sure what's up with that. The only theory I have is, again, we're open to the uh, roof outside on that other side of that wall. So maybe it's cold there. If that's stopping it from drying or just, uh, maybe it's not stopping it, but slowing it down. I don't know. Although uh, we got insulation behind there, everyone. So no idea. No idea. With that being said, I think the ceiling looks uh, pretty good. Uh, one thing's definitely for sure. Uh, once we're done sanding this last, well, and I say last cold coat it, it, there'll probably be some more somewhere but uh once we're done that I'm, I'm gonna go over this with a fine tooth comb and just um double check everything make sure everything looks good and smooth again not worrying about that wall then but uh the other this wall this wall the, the three walls here worrying about uh, those getting those uh nailed down as best we can anyway we'll i'll resume this here again tomorrow and some more sanding uh probably just real light sand i might just take the hand sander here because there, there's not gonna be much hopefully other than again that corner that's gonna need like a full sanding but Okay, we'll be back here again tomorrow, everyone. Next day, everyone, I got the lights off here at the moment. We're going to hopefully do the final sanding here on these walls. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, we should be basically done here. Uh, I, I'm sure everyone will probably find like one or two other things. We'll have to slap a little bit of mud on here yet. We'll see once here. And I know I went like down here, I can't really sand this yet. This uh, lower half is still wet. And then you folks probably are expecting this. Of course, it's still wet in this corner here yet as well. I mean, it's still not dry. I don't know. We'll just have to let that set up again. Don't want to sand it while it's wet. That'll be uh, very, very bad things. And then, then going back to the part that I have the lights off at one, uh, I think you can actually see like problems in the mud better than you can with the lights on. Just the, the natural light coming in the window. I think it like, I don't know if it throws shadows better or whatever, but it just seems like you can see imperfections better. So um, for as much as I can, I'm probably gonna just leave the lights off and uh, just go over everything with a fine tooth comb. So we're gonna get set back up here. We're gonna start sanding. And like I said, this will hopefully be the final, uh, final sanding.
Well, I just finished uh, sanding and washing the wall down here, and I think we're pretty much done with the walls that are up, uh, with the exception of, again, that corner, like the whole corner, but like the whole thing's kind of wet there. And then uh, like the bottom half third of that corner, uh, which, I mean, it looks like it's pretty good. I mean, you know, once, we're, uh, once it's dried, just hit it real quick again with uh, one of these little sanding blocks, and it should be pretty much uh, done. Um, other than that one, I, I noticed like there's one screw hole over here somewhere. If I can find it, yeah, I think it was that one right there. That one needs a little bit more mud yet. Uh, there was like maybe another screw hole here and there that needs some mud. A couple little spots on that one. We're looking pretty good. So I don't think it's really worth me uh, cracking open the mud here uh, just for like uh, two or three little spots. Uh, we'll come back and get them at some point, of course, I mean, before we uh, paint. But uh, for that one, I think that's going to do it here for uh, this room and for uh, the drywall. So uh, this part of the video went a lot quicker than I thought of. And uh, yeah, this went uh, way quicker. The sand, and I figured we'd have to do some sand and then a lot more mud and some more sand and then maybe some more mud. But no, we pretty much uh, uh, we sanded, fixed a few things here and there. I uh, went over all the screw holes again, sanded one more time, Evan, and I think I am pretty happy with it. We are looking uh, pretty good here in my opinion. So... Uh, again, just a couple little things here and there that need to be fixed yet, but just uh, real minor stuff. Even like little things in the drywall. I noticed, uh, oh, yeah, like right there's a little hole and there's another one there. Uh, we'll see once maybe we'll probably fix those. Probably be a good idea when just to kind of get it smooth. But uh, again, those are flaws in the drywall, not, not necessarily in uh, the mud. So uh, I guess what they say, practice makes perfect here. I mean, it's probably true. I, I've done uh, this a few times now. And I would have to say I'm definitely uh, getting a little bit better at it here, learning some techniques and just how to, you know, move the mud around, keep it smooth and uh, sanding and all that uh, good stuff. I've got, uh, what, three different sanders, Kevin? Well, four if you count the blocks. But yeah, just the powered sander, but I'm telling you folks, that is uh, that is the way to go. That makes very, very quick work of uh, any sanding that needs to be done. So yeah, with that, I think we're going to wrap it up here for this uh, video. You folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching. Until next time.